Hi bros, as you remember in my previous Boeda episode my scoot stopped working, actually rear motor when I adding a little bit of the throttle then the wheel just start to twitch and that was it. So I decided to open the deck, I checked the cables, they were a little bit smelly but no surprise those scoots are quite powerful. So I decided to connect rear motor to the front controller and the rear motor starts to work again so my judgment was that I have to replace the rear controller I didn't fully check it because I had not enough time and there we got brand new controller which cost me like 90 dollars shiny so when I back to home I opened the old controller and everything was okay just check how shiny is this thing there is no black spots no burned parts so I was surprised why this controller doesn't work. Let's check how it looks. It looks like actually we've got this power input cable covered by silicon, which is quite nice because they are high temperature resistant. And even this motor power output cables got also silicon cover. Nice. So the yeah, quality of the controllers looks really not bad. So, like I said, I ordered brand new controller, it just arrived two days ago, I connected VR motor to it and the motor started to twitch again, I was like, holy shit, I think I know what is wrong and I should check this thing at first. So, I opened the motor, as you can see here you got this long wire and the motor shaft with the coil and actually this black one thing which is how sensor doesn't work actually it was working when i connected to the front controller because the motor just spin but i think after this test this thing just died and that's why the motor is twitching because controller don't know at what position is motor shaft and i shouldn't order this controller because they look really badass everything is working so I will show you how to check if HAL sensors in your motors are in good condition or at least if they work. Because if your motor is switching or the scooter doesn't work when you're adding a throttle, then this could be a reason. So, let's check my Foxy how sweet she looks when she sleeps. Actually, you don't need to open the motor to check if HAL sensors are okay. I did it because I can and I was curious how the motor looks inside, if the quality is good enough and as you can see it looks quite nice, I cannot say nothing bad to be honest. Also I noticed that this mind shell of the motor over here is covered by some kind of silicone to make this motor waterproof. And as you remember in my last episode when I test Boeda off-road there was lots of mud, lots of water and once the mood was so deep that the motor has been under the water, under the mood. And now when I open the motor, like two months later, there is no water inside, no sign of it. So I can say that this motor seems to be waterproof thanks to this seal around the shell. And also this black seal is securing motor from the dust and the water. So super nice quality actually. Black GND cable from the multimeter connect to HAL sensor socket to black cable, as you can see. And now let's check at first what is the voltage output. It should be around 5 volts. And we are at 4.8 volts, which is good enough. Next step, let's check HAL sensors. Foxy got dreams. Now let's check HAL sensors. So let's connect to this blue cable. And blue cable is A, so this. And as you can see, we've got 3.2 volts. Here I got simple magnet. And when I rotate this magnet, then this HAL sensor should switch between 0 volts and 3.2 volts. And as you can see, it doesn't switch because it doesn't work. Holy shit, I should check it at first. Yeah, it doesn't work. So now let's check green cable let's connect to the green and we are again at 3.2 volts and green one is b so this at the middle will it work yeah as you can see we've got zero volts when i rotate the magnet we've got 3.2 volts zero volts so this sensor is working 
And yeah, like I said, you don't need to open the motor to check it. When you rotate the... Foxy, wake up. Are you still alive? Hi. So, like I said, you don't need to open the motor because when you rotate the motor, the wheel, then also magnetic field will switch, will fluctuate. Because inside the shell, we've got magnets like north, south, north, south. That's why you don't need to open the motor. But yeah, this thing for this case is working the same. Now let's check CH sensor, so this one, and this is yellow wire. It's hard to do it with one hand. Okay, so now let's check this H sensor. We've got 3.2 volts, and we've got 0 volts, so this one is also working. Yeah, 3.2. Come on, what's happened? Yeah, zero. So this one is working. So this small thing simply doesn't work. And yeah, I shouldn't order a new controller because this simple house sensor costs like maybe $1 or less, and it could be much cheaper than spending $90. But now you know if your motor is twitching or it doesn't work then at first check hull sensors and like i said you don't need to open the motor to check if hulls are okay just connect your multimeter to those wire and rotate a little bit wheel and if the voltage will just switch between zero volts and three volts then the hull sensor is okay if the voltage will be constant at zero volts or 3.2 volts then it means that the hull hull sensor is damaged and it needs to be replaced. So now you know bros how to check if hull sensors in your scoot are working. Now we need some plan to fix my scoot. So for sure I will not remove the PDB because it's glued to the side of the coil. I will cut this three legs, three wires from the hull sensor and then I will remove hull sensor. Actually you have to slide it out to the side. You cannot just pull it up. My dear friend Cassian gave me this almost brand new motor, so I'm able to get some fully working hulls from this motor. And as you can see on the top of this metal part, we've got some kind of curvature. That's why you cannot just pull it up this hull sensor. You have to slide it to the side, otherwise you will damage the hull sensor. So I will just cut over here these three wires remove hull sensor and place this new hull sensor on my Boyeda motor. Let's do it. Of course Chinese decide to complicate everything and they use some amazing glue to glue this hull sensor to this thing. I drilled some small hole by using this tiny drill and I still cannot remove it so yeah it will take me some time. If you will do the same then prepare your mind that it will be not very easy. I had to use that kind of thing to remove old hull sensor from the socket. Looks like it's done. So now let's slide in new sensor. 